Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. Sorry if I sound a little bit different or if I seem kind of tired. I'm sick with a cold and I am getting a little bit better, but I decided to film my empties video today because I didn't want to film it too late where I have to film it in the next month. So I'm filming it today. It's April 5th, so it's a little bit late, but not as late as it could be. I have a lot of products considering I had a pretty big empties last month, so this is going to be my March empties and I'm excited to share everything with you. As always, I'm going to start off with makeup and I have a decent amount of complexion products that I finished this month. First one is this little deluxe size sample of the Becca Under Eye Corrector. So I'll put this on after I apply foundation and I would blend it in with my Real Technique sponge. And sometimes I didn't need to put a concealer over it, but most of the time I did because sometimes the peachiness would still show through. So as you can see, it is empty and you might be able to see a little bit of the color in there, but it was a nice peachy color. It was very emollient and it did provide a little bit of radiance. I don't think I purchased the full size of this, but I did enjoy using this deluxe size sample of it. Next, I used up this deluxe size sample of the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer, and I freaking loved this. If you have dry skin or normal to dry skin, you'll probably really like this, especially if you love a coconut scent. This was so hydrating. It made my makeup apply really nicely and look really nice throughout the day, and if I were to purchase a high-end primer, it would definitely be this one. I really liked it, and I am missing it. Next, I finished this Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder in the shade Porcelain. This is probably the second or third one that I've gone through of this one. It was a really nice powder. I feel like it made my skin look really nice and not too cakey and it did set the makeup pretty well. I would repurchase this in the future but I do have two other powders that I'm working on currently. It's gonna be a long video guys because I have to clear my throat like literally every five seconds so might be some choppy editing but I will try my best. Next, I used up this Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation, and this was also in the shade Porcelain. I used this initially as a foundation mixer, but then when I ran out of my current foundation, I decided to just use this one up and use it by itself, and it did look really nice on the skin. It wasn't too cakey. It provided a medium to buildable coverage. I think it looked great on the skin, and it didn't accentuate my pores or anything, so I would definitely repurchase this in the future as a foundation mixer or as a foundation. Only a couple more makeup products, so I used up this select sample of the Dandelion Shy Beam from Benefit, and this was supposed to be like a matte cream highlighter, but I used this as an eye primer, similarly to how you would use MAC Painterly Paint Pot if you use a separate primer. So I would use this to conceal my eyelids, and that's what the color looks like. The sample actually lasted me like quite a few months, so if you do get this and you like this product, I feel like it is worth the money just because it does last a decent amount of time, but it's not something I would go out and repurchase because I think it was kind of like an extra step. And lately I've just been priming my eyes and setting my eyelid with powder and then doing my cream shadow, which is a long process, but that's just how I like to do my eyes. But anyway, I wouldn't purchase this in the future. I used up an eyeliner, and this was from Urban Decay. This was the eyeliner in Stag, and this was a brown color with a little bit of like a purple undertone, and it wasn't matte, it was like a satin. I hated this eyeliner so much. It didn't wear well on the waterline. It applied okay on the upper lash line over eyeshadow, but I just don't think it was worth the price in my opinion. The color was kind of eh, and the formula was not great. Next I'm going to go on to samples, and normally I have a lot more, but I have downsized my collection a lot by using them up and also decluttering some. I actually am going to be passing on a lot of my other perfume samples, but for now I just have a couple samples that I used up this month. The first one was this Wild Fox perfume sample, and this was nice. It was like a sweet floral scent, but it's not something I would repurchase. I like more sweet and fruity scents as opposed to floral scents, but this one was nice if I were to pick up a more floral scent. The other perfume sample that I used up was this DKNY Be Desired perfume sample. And I honestly can't remember what this smelled like, but I think it was like a musky fruity scent. I used to love the DKNY Be Delicious, and that one smells really good. It's like a musky apple scent. Unfortunately, I don't remember a whole lot about this scent, but DKNY does make really nice smelling perfumes in my opinion. And then the last sample that I used up was this La Mercier foundation primer that came with my translucent setting powder from Influencer. I actually did like this primer a lot, and it is pretty expensive, but even this little sample lasted me like four or five uses, and usually these samples only last me like maybe two. I think this was nice, but it's not something I would purchase in the future. Now on to some wax type products. So I finished this little scent cubes of the Better Homes Farm Apple Pumpkin, and this smells so good. It's not too cinnamony, and I can really smell the pumpkin in it. This was from their fall collection, so it was limited edition, but I'm sure they'll bring it back in the fall. 
I actually have a backup of this because I got two of these for Christmas, so I still have some of these to use and I will be enjoying them. And then I used up this Bath & Body Works White Barn Warm Apple Pie Candle and I actually took the wax out and I sucked at it and the little wicks are still in there. So if you guys know how to get these little wicks out even though the wax isn't in there, please let me know because this container is really pretty and I actually you've used up one of these before in like the not the smallest size but the medium size it's more of like a skinny jar and I use that for my liquid lipsticks so I would love to use this jar anyway this candle smelled so good it definitely smelled like a warm apple pie I got like the pie crust the apple note and then like the warmth note to it so it says that the notes in here are baked granny smith apple melted brown sugar and flaky homemade crust i really do think it smelled like a warm apple pie and i would purchase this candle again this is one of my favorite candles that i've ever had from bath and body works even though i wash my hands a lot i feel like it does take me a while to go through hand soap but i just showed the bath and body works ones because i know a lot of you guys shop there and get your soaps there so this was the autumn vines one and i do get the deep cleansing hand soaps that's just what my family gets and always has gotten. I feel like the foaming hand soaps don't last as long. So this was like a fresh, kind of manly scent, but it wasn't overly manly. So I think this could be a unisex soap. I used up a Batiste Fruity and Cheeky Cherry Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite one, but I did buy another one and it seems to have a stronger white cast, which I don't love. So I don't know if they changed the formula of it. The packaging looks the same, so I'm not sure this is the empty one, this is the new one. I do love this dry shampoo, but I'm not sure if my one that I have now is just a little bit more potent. But I do like this, it smells good, and it soaks up the oils really well, and usually the white cast isn't that bad on it. So I don't know what's up with the one I have. And then I used up this Equate Beauty Strengthening and Nourishing Nail Polish Remover. This was a nice nail polish remover, but, you know, nail polish remover is nothing special, at least in my opinion. So I'll use whatever doesn't strip my nails completely and works well, and this did, so I would pick it up again. And I'm so happy this is done. This is the Secret Scent Expressions Cabana Cool. This is a clear gel deodorant, and I hate it. Like, I hate the clear gel. I'd rather just have, like, the stick deodorant. I think it's such a pain, and I just don't like using it. It's sticky, and I don't think it made me sweat any less, and the scent was whatever, so I'm so happy to be done with this, and I'm back to my Dove deodorant. This is the Bic Soleil Color Collection razors, and I believe it was a pack of eight. These are my favorite razors to use. They're women's razors, and usually women's razors, in my opinion, don't work as well as men's, but these ones do work pretty well, and the handle's pretty sturdy, and I like these, so I will continue to repurchase these. I used up my first pair of false lashes, and these were the Kiss Look So Natural tapered end lash. I'm not exactly sure of the exact name. The number up here might be the exact name, but that's pretty much what it looked like. It was a very, very long lash, and they were really pretty like the first time I wore them because I was going out, but after that I thought they were a little bit too much, so if I were to pick up more Kiss lashes, I would go for a more natural pair, and the band was pretty nice. I think they were okay, but not my favorite. And I have a bunch of body products and a decent amount of lotions. So we'll start off with lotions. The first one is this Vanilla Bean Noel body cream. And the notes in here are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. This is my favorite, or one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents that they've come out with. This is only available in the winter time. I don't like the scent of this really as much in the body cream that I do in the lotion. I think the lotion just smells a little bit better and I'm actually using the lotion currently. This smells like vanilla pudding to me and it's such a nice scent if you love vanilla so I would recommend the formula of this and the scent if you do love vanilla. I have two little mini Bath & Body Works lotions. The first one is Tahiti Island Dream. This is a very warm coconut summer scent and it smells so so good. I would definitely pick this scent up again and I just love the scent so much. The next one is this A Thousand Wishes Little Body Lotion. This is more of a like girly, fruity, sweet scent. It reminded me of Victoria's Secret a lot. And it did smell really nice and I would pick it up again. And I actually think I have a shower gel in this scent. The other lotion that I have is a body butter from The Body Shop. Oh my god, this smelled so good. I actually got this at TJ Maxx for $5.99 and I still see it there. I was in between this one and the blueberry, but I'm glad I picked this one up. This was the raspberry body butter. And it's all done. This just smells so good. It smells like fresh raspberries and I would totally pick this up again. I love the formula of The Body Shop body butters because I do have normal to dry skin depending on the time of year. And this just was awesome and I would recommend it.
I only used up one body wash this month. This was the Champagne Apple and Honey from Bath and Body Works. The notes in here are Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, Boysenberry Nectar, and Autumn Woods. This was just a nice sweet apple scent with a little bit of musk to it. It wasn't too apple-y or too musky. It was a nice in-between. It was a nice shower gel, but it wasn't my absolute favorite scent that they've come out with, so I probably wouldn't purchase it unless it was at the semi-annual sale. And then lastly for body products, I finished this Asquif and Somerset Island Paradise Pineapple Mango Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. If you guys haven't checked these scrubs out and you love body scrubs, especially like harsher ones, you will love this. This smelled really nice and lasted me for a little bit over a month or under a month, give or take, I forget. But these are very exfoliating. They're a little bit harsher than other scrubs, but it doesn't like strip your skin or anything. It actually provides more of a moisturizing layer. I love these ones and the Tree Hot ones, but lately I've just been picking these ones up because I go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx a lot. But I would definitely pick up the scent again. It smelled really tropical and fruity, so this was awesome. I have some skincare and then one random kind of like a food item. So I'm going to start off with the skincare. So I used up actually two of these sheet masks and I got a pack of five. I don't remember where the other one of these went. I'm pretty sure I put it in my bag, but maybe it just fell out. But this was the Nature Spa Essentials Pomegranate and Blueberries with collagen and hyaluronic acid sheet mask and use it for 20 minutes. I think it was really hydrating, but it wasn't like the most hydrating thing for my face. I think my current moisturizer works really well too, but it is a nice treat and it smells nice. It's highly saturated and I think it fit my face pretty well. It says it's supposed to firm, brighten, and moisturize your skin and I do feel like it moisturized my skin, but I don't know about the brightening or firming. It was a good sheet mask and I think sheet masks are mostly just for moisturizing, so I think it did its job and I would probably pick these up again. I finished two of my Equate Oil Free Eye Makeup Removers. Lately that's been the trend. I tend to use up about two a month and I do really like this. I actually use this to spot clean my brushes on like a tissue probably once or twice a week and it does work amazing for that. I usually just soak this on a cotton round and I'll put it all over my face including my eyes and Sometimes I can go with just one cotton round, sometimes it's two, depending on how much makeup I'm wearing. But this is a really great eye makeup remover, especially for the price. It's only about $4. You can find it at Walmart, and it works so well for a makeup remover. And then the last skincare item that I have is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin at Booster's Daily Scrub. This was in my parents' shower, but I wanted to talk about it because it is my favorite daily scrub. I finished a lot of it too, but mostly it was at home. But this was my favorite scrub, but I do think they discontinued it. It was a really nice, fruity-smelling daily face wash, and it said it was supposed to boost softness, evenness, and radiance, and it won't over-dry the skin. I think they discontinued it because it has the microbeads in it, which are bad for the environment. It's bittersweet because I love this scrub, but I'd rather not contribute to more damage to the environment. So I'm sad about it being discontinued, but it was a good product. And lastly, I just wanted to include this item. This is the Produce Snacks Sweetened Dried Mango Strips, and they are juice and Used. These are from Walmart, or at least I think they are like Walmart exclusive. They were so good. They are dried mango strips with a little bit of like a sweetness to them. They might have had a little bit of sugar in them and they just tasted so good. If you like mangoes and dried fruit, you will go crazy over these. I ate this bag in I think under 24 hours and I'm going to Walmart today and I will definitely be picking these up. I think it's only filled about to here or so, so it's not quite the full bag and I think it's about four bucks, but I love mangoes so much and I don't eat them all the time. But this has been satisfying my mango craving and I'm going to be purchasing these ASAP. So those are my empties for the month of March. I'm sorry for my voice, but I do think it got a little bit better throughout the video. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you finished this month, and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.